Hello and welcome to the session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we're going to look at Tesla. Tesla is a company. It's recalling 11,000 Model X SUVs for seat issues. So what is the what is the issue here on hand? The issue is warranty. So if you are taking my class, if you're taking intermediate accounting, we talk about something called assurance type warranty. Okay, warranty that the product meet agreed upon specification. So here, what's happening is Tesla found a malfunction in their seats you could you know in the row seat so if you'd like to read the, you read it you could read it but that's not our issue the issue is the financial aspect of this the recall involved vehicles with fold flat second raw seat made between october 28 2016 and august 16 2017. tesla believed that only three percent of the recall vehicle have an issue so simply put if that's the case uh what they're here's what they're saying if they have 11,000 unit times 0 0.03, there's 330 vehicles that might need some repairs, but they're gonna recall every vehicle to check them out. Now, what is the accounting issue here? Well, the first thing when I read this article, I went to the annual report for Tesla to see their provision for warranty liability, and this is the details. So this is not the balance sheet, this is only the crude warranty. And here's what they have. In 2015, if you notice, let me just uh, cut this so you can see. You can see what's happening here. Um, here's their three-year accrued warranty liability. We'll start with 2015, that's the beginning balance, minus what they incurred, uh, plus what they added, plus the provision, this is the ending balance of last year. Now, the ending balance of 2015 became, be, become the beginning balance of 2016. So simply put, we're looking at the warranty liability account and here's what we have we have uh, in 2016 the beginning balance was 180 754 they added they I'm sorry this is liability it's a credit sorry not a debit 180 754 they added to it 31,366 from purchases I guess they they uh, they bought other companies and they, you know, a warranty came with those purchases. Therefore, they added the 30, 31,000. Then they incurred 79,147. It means they pay in warranty costs that much. The net change basically in liability of pre existing warranty, including expiration. So there was a 20,000. 084 of warranty expired then they added this year then they added to their warranty 153 766 and i mean i mean this year was the late, latest year so all in all the balance of the warranty was 266 655 so this is the balance as of as of december i believe december th yeah december 31st 2016 now we're gonna go from December 31st and just do some uh, accounting just to kind of imagine stuff and see what would happen, okay? Now, let's go back to the article and here's the breakdown. This is how we came up with this figure. Just I wanna make sure we understand how we came up with this figure. So the ending balance is 266,655. Now, we said 11,000 vehicles are recalled. They estimate 3% uh, to be, uh, um, uh, to, need, to, to have needed repair, that's 330 units. And let's assume it's gonna cost them around, let's say $500 per unit between labor, material, whatever. I'm just, this is a, just a number. So 330 times 500, uh, I think that's too high, $500. Let me choose another number. I'm gonna say it's gonna cost them 200. Uh, 330 times 200. 330, 330 vehicles times 200 on average, it's gonna cost them 66,000. So basically what's gonna happen, uh, once those vehicles come back for, uh, for repair, Tesla will debit warranty payable for 66,000 and they will credit inventory, payroll, whatever they incurred of 66,000. And what they do, they will debit this account 66,000, thus reducing the balance from 266,655 minus 66,000. So the balance will be 200,655. We're not done yet. 
I want to show you something else, and that's that's important. That's important also for my student. And if you know what I mean by my students, it means you are taking intermediate accounting with me, and this might be relevant to your exam. So let's talk about this number here, the prior year balance, 266, 655. Once again, this is a liability. Now, what you have to understand is warranty liabilities are part of accrued liabilities. So notice that the total is 266, 655. Now, I'm going to go to my accrued liabilities going to go to my accrued liabilities because it's going to be part of my accrued liability balance. Let me go to the schedule. Accrued liabilities and others. So yes, that's what I'm looking for. So notice, as of December 2016, December 31st, 2016 and 2015, accrued liabilities and other liabilities consist of the following. All right. Now, those are Current liabilities. Notice, I'm going to emphasize the word current liabilities. Under current, li under current liabilities, notice we have the accrued warranty and others. Now, notice we have others. So the accrued liabilities, and they're, they're blending something else with it. I don't know what it is, but something other. 201, 289. Well, hold on a second. This does not add up. If my balance is 266, if my balance is 266, 655, why is my... Why is my accrued warranty plus something else equal to 201, 289? Well, the reason is because the warranty, part of it is short term and part of it is under long term. So notice they also have the warranty under long term. And we know under long term, we have accrued warranty reserve net of the current portion of 149,858. Okay, so notice the long term warranty, we know that it's it's. So now I'm, I can capture the whole screen. So here's one more time what I'm, what I'm going to do so you understand why I am doing this. So I'm going to clip this. Remember, the total warranty was 266, 266, 655. That was the total liability. Now notice, we only under long-term portion, this is the long-term liabilities of the warranty, is we have of that long-term is minus 149,858. Okay, now we can find the net portion of the warranty. 266, 655 minus 149,858 equal to 116,797. This should be the short-term portion. Now, obviously, the short-term portion is a little bit more. Notice the short-term portion is not 116. It's 201, 289 because they have the warranty and something else. What's the point here that you need to understand as my student is this, and this could be on the exam. The warranty, if you have a warranty, part of it is short term. Anything that you expect to satisfy in the next 12 months and some of the warranty could be long term. I'm not going to say more than this, but I'm telling you, you're going to be tested about this on the exam. So be careful about how the warranty is presented. Now, if you want to go back and look at Tesla stock, just to kind of see how we put this into all perspective. If we go back to Tesla stock and see how it closes, actually it closed up dollar one dollar and eight cent and that was the news came out before the closing so what does that mean it means it's not a big deal it's not an issue already tesla tesla already estimated they might have an expense and i just told you the expense could be two hundred dollar per vehicle now the expense could be more the expense could be less now let's assume tesla find out that of those eleven thousand they estimated three percent let's assume they find out it's maybe ten percent of them or twenty percent and it's going to cost them, for example, 500 or 600 per unit, then guess what? The stock might react negatively because now the expense is way more than what they are saying. But right now, it seems it's under control if only 3%, so that's only 330 vehicles. And how much it's going to cost them, you know, what's the issue here? Let's go back to the issue. What's the issue here? What do they need to do? Basically, they need to basically, uh, let me go back. Go back, go back. It's not a big deal to fix it, but they want to make sure it's fixed. And let me scroll down. What is the issue here? Uh, Tesla says some cables in the seat may have been improperly tightened. So they need to uh, basically make sure the cables are well, uh, are well maintained. That's pretty much it. So I don't think that's going to be a costly a costly uh, 
a costly uh, a task to complete. So all in all, this is all what I'm going to go over this, uh, this case. Uh, but hopefully you understand how warranty work. And this is an example in the real world. If you have any questions, any comments, by all means, email me or see me in class. Good luck.